and welcome back to my channel and if you're new my name is Sharon it has been a minute since I've been in front of the camera I've been behind the camera but it's been a while since I've been in front of the camera so ta -da! <laughs> today on creative glam all things home with Sharon I'm gonna share with you a collective haul a small collective haul from Crate and Barrel Home Goods and Amazon and then after that, I'm going to share with you my updated recipe for my Lemon Lavender and Manuka Honey Body Exfoliator. So stay tuned for that. Now let's get started on the haul. Huh? Absolutely beautiful. I got this blush pink vase from Home Goods, And I love the geometric shapes almost as much as I love the blush color. This vase currently sits in my office on my bookshelf. Um, what can I say? Everything about it is absolutely gorgeous. I have a little green sprig when it's sitting on the shelf uh, that sits inside of it. And I love the fact that even though it's a pretty large vase, it has that small neck. I think what I love the most is the color. That was one of the things that caught my eye. I was looking for something that had architectural flair to it. And I thought that met the bill as to what I wanted to put on the shelf. That coupled with the color, I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Then I picked up this. This is a basket that I am currently using inside my closet. Um, I have two of them. Uh, one of them is, I think, with my swimsuits, and the other is for dry cleaning. I got this basket here from Home Goods, and I absolutely love it uh, with all the um, Paris phrases written into it. I love that. And you will see this, uh, you'll see this basket featured in my closet declutter and reorganization, so stay tuned for that. And I got a candle from Home Goods. Uh, it's the Sand and Fall collection. This is the Ocean and Sea Salt. Love this fragrance. I love the way it smells. And when I found a big one, I picked it up. How much was it? This was also $14.99. $14.99 seems to be the number of the day. I love the way it smells. And I like Sandy Fog because, because the throw is very good. Sandy Fog was born with a vision of three women who believed candles should not only smell good, but look good too. We are living proof that the California dream is alive and well, hoping we can bring light and happiness into your life. I think that was kind of cool. And was also, I think it was something that they had put out for Mother's Day because it says, you're the best mom. I don't know if you can see that. You're the best mom. I love you. Uh, sand and fog are usually soy candles with essential oils. So, uh, yeah, I picked this up for $14.99. Cutting board. I got my cutting boards from Crate and Barrel. I updated the backsplash behind the stove, and I'll link that video up above if you haven't seen it already. So I was looking for some really fun-shaped cutting boards or charcuterie boards uh, to put behind my stove. And this is one that I picked up from Crate and Barrel. I actually picked up two. This is a marble and what is it made of? All right, and then I got a second cutting board. Um, again, looking for those fun shapes and decorative cutting boards. So this caught my eye immediately. Uh, I found this round one. I actually found this one first. And I love that wood and um, marble look. Uh, it matches the kitchen. So I was looking for something a little brown, bringing a little more brown back into the kitchen, and of course something that goes with all the marble that I have in there. I mainly purchased this for decor, again to sit behind the stove. I may possibly use it for charcuterie purposes, but I wouldn't use it for a cuttery board because I wouldn't use it for a cutting board because again I bought it for decor, not necessarily for use. But I love the shape. I love that. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. Everything about it, I like. I wanted to get a smaller one, but I wanted a different shape. 
So um, I guess that's to come. Another vase. This vase also came from Home Goods. This one was $19.99. I love the design of the vase and the color. I was looking for something black to sit on my shelf. And um, this fit the bill for me. I This one caught my eye because I loved the texture of it. Um, the hole in the top is a little large, but I currently do not sit anything in it. Again, this is also another vase that sits on the bookshelf in my office. So uh, the color was on point as well as the print, texture, design. I'm not sure which one is appropriate, but yes, I love that. And that was $19.99 from Home Goods. And my last item is Oh, actually, it's not my last item. I picked up two baskets. This basket here came from, this basket came from Amazon and I absolutely loved it. I love the print on it. I love the color uh, currently being used in my closet. Um, again, so stay, stay tuned for that declutter and reorganization organization of my closet video that's coming. Uh, but I got them mainly because I love the print. I love that. Absolutely gorgeous. This is, and I like that. I don't remember what the dimensions are but I will link this down below in the description box. And then I got these storage bins from Amazon by Crucia. Um, I will link these down below in the description box. I can't remember the price that I paid for, but I am currently using these inside the closet in my master bedroom to hold um, my clothing. And they hold a lot. I like them. And the color is absolutely in there. Okay. And last but not least, I got a pillow cover. This is actually a pillow that I already owned. Well, I got a pillow cover. And this pillow cover I got from Amazon. It's a hand pillow, it's a hand painted pillow cover. And the colors in it just drew me in. So I purchased this. You get two of them. Uh, again, I got this from Amazon, and I'll link it down below in the description box. I can't remember what the price was, but it was truly, it was extremely affordable. I believe it's an 18 by 18, and you get two slip covers. It is a tree, and um, then the the muted colors, and there's birds and and bubble leaves. <laughs> I, I, it was the colors that drew me. I thought it would work really well for spring, summer, and fall. And that's it, guys. That's it for my small collective haul. Now let's get started on my updated recipe for my lemon, lavender, and manuka honey body exfoliator or sugar scrub. As I said earlier, I'm going to share with you my updated DIY lemon, lavender, and manuka honey body exfoliator or sugar scrub. I did um, I did a rose body scrub and I did a lemon body scrub. You can go to my channel and see that video. Uh, I did that a few years ago. So now I'm going to share with you my updated recipe. I've got my manuka honey here. You're going to need about a teaspoon of manuka honey. You're going to need half of a lemon. You're gonna need about three to five tablespoons of coconut oil or olive oil. Today I'm using coconut oil and with a splash of vitamin E. I've even done it where I did half and half. I did half coconut oil and half olive oil with a splash of vitamin E. And I've got some um, sugar. I got some large grain raw cane sugar. And I have a container here that I got from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I washed that out in hot water and allowed it to dry. Now the first thing we're gonna do is add our sugar. I'm gonna do a cup of sugar. I have linked this recipe down below in the description box. Click on the PDF link and you too can make your own sugar scrub. The raw sugar that I'm using today is the coarsest sugar due to the large granules. Uh, it makes for a fantastic body scrub you can use this scrub two to three times a week and you can store it for about a month. Now I'm gonna take my coconut oil and I'm gonna zap it in the microwave for a couple seconds. And the same thing with the Manuka honey. I'm gonna zap this for a couple seconds. And that's the coconut 
coconut oil. I recommend trying different oils to see and mix and match them to see which one works for your body type. Manuka honey is native to New Zealand. It has um, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant benefits. It also is helpful in healing wounds, soothing sore throats, and preventing tooth decay. And it can also help in digestive issues. And it tastes good. So I'm gonna add one teaspoon to the sugar scrub. The key is that you don't want it too soupy and you don't want it too dry. Right in between. And that's pretty good right there. I still have to add my lemon. I got my lavender from Hobby Lobby. This is the type of lavender that you can put into body soap, you can put it into candles, or you can put it into your body exfoliator. And again, just a little bit. I'd say a um, quarter of a teaspoon. They will soften up in the body scrub, but they look so pretty. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous, and I haven't even put it in the container yet. So let's get this in the container. I will keep this jar with the lid on tightly in the shower caddy so that it's always handy. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy hanging out with me today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bells. I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. So hit that like button too. At the end of this video, you'll see two video links. Click one to see more home decor and DIYs by Creative Glam. And with that being said, have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.